Your name could be sent to outer space, and a company is gearing up for a big stream today. Courtney is ready to slap you with science. Yes, I am an adjunct professor. I've been under the tutelage of uh, Lord Professor Cody Stark. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take Dr. Lord and... Professor. Dr. Lord yeah. Professor. That's right. Uh, first of all, you've heard about a message in a bottle, right? What about a message in a bottle that will end up in space? <laughs> That's the one you to get in on this Europa Clipper mission by adding your name to an original poem that's been penned by U.S. Uh, poet Ada Lyman. To It's titled, In Praise of Mystery, a Poem for Europa. The poem's going to be aboard the spacecraft when it blasts off in October of 2024. The spacecraft is going to travel billions of miles all the way to Jupiter's rune Europa, where it's going to investigate if the ocean thought to lie beneath Europa's icy crust could actually support life. Because that's the key. If there's water, we got some place to go. I feel like the answer is probably no. <laughs> what are we going to find? Yeah. Names received before 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on December 31st of this year will be stenciled onto a microchip with the poem before the spacecraft takes off. Mm. It's your chance. It's your chance, people. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Warming up the hands. You've been slow. Oh. By the way, I'd like to point out there's almost no way to verify your name actually gets on that. I know, right? <laughs> Who's going to check? Who's going to yeah. check me, boo? Yeah. Uh, Mars could be the Internet's next big influencer. Oh, yes, wow. I am talking about the Red Planet. Uh, the Red Planet is making its live streaming debut on YouTube on today. The European Space Agency says it's going to stream an hour of the first live images taken directly from Mars. The event celebrates the 20th anniversary of the launch of the agency's Mars Enterprise, or Express rather, which is a mission to take 3D images of the planet's surface. Now, while the agency is calling it a live stream, it won't, won't actually be truly live from Mars. Uh, the ESA estimates that it will take about 17 minutes for the light needed to form the images to travel from Mars and then back down here to Earth, then another minute to make it to the servers on the ground. So it's live-ish, live adjacent. Come on. <laughs> It'll stream a new image uh, about every 50 seconds. So that's another minute, basically, to <laughs> Would there be a more annoying person, though, that's like, um, actually, it's not live because it takes a... All right, some of them, they're, somebody's going to say They're it. broadcasting from another planet. And you know what I say Relax. to that person? You've been slapped with science. Oh, the overhand. Yeah. Wow. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Hey, police in Miami unveiled a new remote-controlled robot named Spot earlier this week. Here's some footage that was released by the Miami-Dade Police Department. It shows officers operating spot, which the department said could be useful by uh, a special response team. It's a trained a police officer operating the robot through a touchscreen uh, pad. That robot can open doors, it can retrieve objects, and it can cl climb stairs, which is also the stuff of nightmares. Those robots are very creepy on the move. What do you think we have done more stories on, Taylor Swift or this robot dog? <laughs> To up to this week, I'm going to say the robot dog. After next week, it's going to be a toss-up, I think. Yeah. This, Taylor just needs this one robot more week dog, of concert. It's the only robot we can name the company that makes it. <laughs> it's Boston Dynamics. <laughs> I love it. Uh, my friends, you have been slapped with science. Wait a minute. Oh. I'm not oh. done. Oh. 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 <laughs> wow. Courtney. Now I know not to mess with Courtney. Thank you, Court. Uh, we shall return after this.